Have you ever heard of Canary tokens? Well, I hadn't until today. I just learned about these Canary tokens and I couldn't resist but sharing this introductory video. So if you already know it, pardon this introductory video, but I'm more than sure there will be a lot of ignorant people like me who are not aware of this. This is a very cool concept, which is mainly related to network and cyber defenders. Now, these canary tokens act like a stolen vehicle recovery system. So what happens is you generate a token which looks like a real token of some application. You embed that token or credentials in your code and if and, and then you just publicly put it somewhere. If an attacker comes in they and they're looking to attack you, they find that token, they become very happy that okay, they have found something, they either expose it publicly or they try to blackmail you. And when they contact you through that token, whenever they had access it, your code can grab their IP address and then you would already know their location. So it is sort of a honey pot which you put it outside to attract some honeys and then you capture them. Now there are a lot of other things which you can do these with tokens. And if you are a developer, you might be familiar with web bugs, which are the transparent images which track once someone opens an email. These web bugs, they work by embedding a unique URL in a page image tag and monitoring incoming get requests. So if you are doing the same for your database queries, your AWS credentials or Azure credentials, you can scatter these honey pots to capture these attackers. So you are basically flipping the game back to them. And why should one use them? Well, network or cyber breaches happen. They are the reality of life. They could happen to big corporations, small businesses, medium businesses, governments. So, and even to the common people. Now, the thing is that when these breaches happen, you should know about them immediately. So what you can do, you can scatter these honeypots in within your organization and different places. So as soon as the breach happens, you can get notified immediately that someone was able to breach it. Canary tokens helps you doing that. They are a free, quick, painless way to help defender discover that they have been compromised or breached by the attackers themselves. Now, how you can use it? For example, you want to use a AWS token as a honeypot or canary token. So go to their website and I'll drop the link in video description. Click on this drop down, select your, for example, AWS keys, then put in your email address here. I have put in my email address and then you can just um, mention it like AWS maybe tokens placed on maybe I'll say in get hub repo and then click on create my canary token and there you go you can see that these are the canary token which has been generated by this in US East 2 region now this canary token will be triggered whenever someone uses this credential pair to access AWS programmatically. This key is unique. No one can guess it. And whenever this token will be fired, you will get an email and you would know that someone is trying to compromise you. Now you can place these tokens in your private or public code repositories. I mean, no point of putting it in public, anyone can access it. So put it in private and where you're not expecting people to poke into it. And if they compromise, you will get a response. So this is how it works. And they are also giving you some ideas for use here. The same thing which I just mentioned. You can either copy it from here or you can download it. So fairly cool. I'm very uh, thrilled by this. And then you can even manage it, delete it. And then if you click on new token, there are a lot of things which you can do other than this. You can use a DNS token. You can use with uh, a Word document, which is somewhere stored and credit card and a lot of other things, even cube config one, sorry, even the cube config one, which you can use. If someone tries to clone your website, QR code, SQL dump, and then the list goes on and on and on. So 
this one is interesting unique email address okay so this is what canary token is um, you can read more on their canary tokens documentation by clicking on this link which is also very very well written so that's it guys i just thought of sharing it with you if you are already using it as a honeypot in your applications or anywhere else please share your use case in the comments i would love to hear more about it as this sounds like a very interesting uh, topic to me and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much